And good morning to you. I'm Shaquille Lohr. Today I'm joined by Steve Weiser and Dan Siebert. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now we want to go back in time 50 years to be exact to talk about the devastating 1974 super tornado outbreak that hit Kentucky. Now take us all back to that day. What was it like for you all experiencing that? Uh, it was the spring in 1974. I was a senior at University of Louisville living in an, uh, an old uh, duplex uh, old house that was a duplex on Crescent Court um, and I was writing a term paper uh, in the kitchen uh, Justice in Plato's Republic my, my uh, roommate was a law student and he was reading law on the front porch um, called me out on the front porch and said look at this and it was getting very still and it was getting dark and purple and then we heard a very loud noise like we thought it was a train right next door but it got more like an airplane coming in on us. And so we went to the basement immediately. And unfortunately, one of our friends, a young lady that lived upstairs, um, she didn't wake up right away. She had been sleeping. So David went up and got her. And within seconds, we were behind, uh, behind the furnace with our heads covered and the house took a direct hit. Um, when we went, went up, clothing, furniture, everything was helter-skelter in the yard window was out um, we decided we better check on the elderly neighbors um, who lived around us and uh, my my roommate David found a gentleman who needed a a, a band-aid or a, actually used his handkerchief to stop the bleeding on his arm I went next door and knocked on the door no answer I was worried so I knocked the window out of the front door yeah. opened it up and, and went in, there was nobody there. And obviously this is a tornado that mu impacted multiple states. So many people lived through it. Speak about uh, the event that you guys are uh, having in remembrance. Yes, on uh, Sunday, April the 14th at two o'clock at the Crescent Hill Baptist Church, which is right a block or two from where uh, Dan was located, uh, we're having a, a free and open to the public event, although we asked people to bring a canned good for United Crescent Hill Ministries, which came out of uh, which was born out of the event. But yeah, we're going to be talking. We have a panel discussion. We have a video on the event and some before and after photographs. It's been 50 years, but it's amazing to see these devastated neighborhoods and how they have come back. Uh, Rolling Fields, North Field, Crescent Hill. Houses, over 900 homes were damaged by this tornado, and uh, they've all been rebuilt and 50 years later, we've got mature trees as well, Cherokee Park as well. So anyways, our event is on uh, Sunday, April the 14th, 2 p.m. All right, and kind of speak about uh, a little bit about some of the guest speakers at this event. We're going to have uh, Tom Wills, who was with uh, Wave 3 uh, Meteorologist at the time. He's going to be at our event talking about it because he was actually part of it uh, back then, 50 years ago. Uh, we have uh, Dan Taffel, who's mayor of Rolling Fields, is going to be there. Rolling Fields was literally flattened uh, during this event. So Dan uh, was, a, was young at the time, and but he will uh, speak about about that as well. We have Tom Owen, uh, historian Tom Owen is going to be part of our panel also. And Wadia Newman, who's a friend of mine, she's an architect. She was 11 years old when a similar story as Dan, their house took a direct hit also in, in the Indian Hills neighborhood. So um, those are the panelists and they all have great stories to tell. Yeah, and make sure you guys go check it out. Thank you so much for joining us this morning to speak a little bit about this. We'll send it back to you.